Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Sean Clinton Shadow Productions. And on this episode, we're going to be discussing, at least my point of views, on the spiritual world. Buckle up everybody, and let's go ahead and begin your transformation. Oh. Now, I'm not talking about skinwalker transformation. No, you're gonna you're still gonna be you, but mentally you're gonna be thinking about things differently. Oh. So before we go ahead and get started with this whole episode about talking about the spiritual world and spirituality and everything, as far as for how it comes in for me and my point of view and everything, I need you to sit back, relax, clear your mind. Everything that you know, grew up or have experienced in your life, empty your cup, pour all that out and begin to learn the new. Oh, and if you're driving out there, please keep all your hands on the wheel and attentive to the road. Oh, (laughs) so for everybody out there, I'm sure there's so many different beliefs out there, so many different religions, backgrounds, and so many different points of view in life. Now, when it comes to all those points of view, especially what I've seen in modern day is there's a lot of no, your point of view isn't real. No, it's it's it, it, how you view God is wrong or oh no, what how you your creation stories are wrong and mine are right. Let me just say that there's a good chance that everybody is right. Hear me out. So when it comes to spirituality and where we come from, and as far as for us Diné people, we have our creation stories of how our people were born onto this earth and how we, how we were made our way here from a previous world. When, now, when you go to talk to different tribes out there, each of them have their own creation stories of how they came to be on this world. Different cultures and backgrounds and tribes have their own deities, have their own gods, have their own creators, it seems like. But one thing that I've noticed, especially on my travels and communicating with people is when they, people talk about God, people talk about creator, and even people who don't even believe in creator or God or anything like that, they all have different names for this deity who is, in a sense, the origin of us all. The origin of what gives us life, the origin of what makes us breathe, to make us think, to be creative and everything. and. I know there's like a lot of stories out there with science and how everything came to be and all these different things. And you know, it's, it's a little bit of both. You have to understand that a lot of times when it comes to spirituality and science, there's a lot of dualities that come with it. You know, there's a lot of songs and ceremonies of how, you know, the human being was created. And in our tribe, in our stories, we have all these different clans that make up the Navajo people, the uh, the Nah people. And so when each of these people were being created, you know, they were all given a task on this world to go do and take care of certain places, certain herbs, certain ceremonies and everything when they came onto this world. Now, there was one group that came to Earth before all of them. I'm pretty sure all of you have heard of them. It's called the Anasazi. And, you know, we have some of those stories about those ones, but I'll probably save that one for another episode. So if you want to see an episode of the Anasazi, the people who disappeared, leave a comment down below. Oh, but when it comes to spirituality and everything, and there's, and I know there's a lot of people out there that try to think of what happens after we die what happens after you cross over into the next world you know where do we come from where do spirits come from and everything and it's a lot to take in and that fear of what happens after you die is a real thing and curiosity itself is what happens when you go die and you do all these things so throughout my travels throughout my journeys in my young life so far i'm not saying i'm an expert i'm just telling you from my experiences that i've seen so far and I have so many other experiences to tell still, you know, these are some of my thoughts that I've kind of gathered so far, you know, when I get older and maybe if I still have a YouTube channel, 
you know, if I'm still here in 50, 60, 70 years, yeah, I'll be probably making a new video about this. <laughs> My perspectives will change as I grow older and everything. But, you know, in, in our in our stories, when you pass on, there's a horse that comes up for you. And some of your family members are supposed to be there for you too to guide you to the beginning of the Milky Way, of the star nation for you to start to relive your life. And now one thing that I think is really interesting and parallels a lot of things is when you go on this journey to relive your life, essentially, you go and as in a sense, you work your way to becoming pure again when you were just a child, just a baby. And you go through your life, you go through all these different trials and things that you've done in your life, whether that be good, whether that be bad, you know, we've heard stories of spirits that lived good lives, you know, they redo their journey and everything and, and they go into the spirit world that their journeys were really good. You know, they didn't have a hard time or anything, but people who lived a bad life or people who struggled in their life would have a hard time or even get stuck on their journey. That's why, you know, you hear of a lot of story, uh, spirits going to purgatory. Now, purgatory, for those of you out there who don't know, is in a sense where you're stuck in the middle plane. You're stuck in a weird place, whether that be a memory, a location or something like that, to where you cannot move on. You cannot help yourself or get help from anybody to be able to move on to the next stages of where you need to go in your spiritual life. Now, that's where, in a sense, you get some hauntings and all these other different things, but I'll get to that in a bit. So when you go on your journey, what I was told was in that journey, you begin to learn all these different things of how to become a spirit. You learn this old, old languages that they all use up there in the spiritual world. In a sense, you learn how to pray. You learn how to do these things. And in our stories is that you're given a choice. You're given a choice to be able to go into the happy hunting grounds, be with family members, or you can go ahead and come back. You can come back to the world. You can be, you know, a guardian spirit. You can be a nature spirit if you want. You can go down to be a thunder being, you know, all these different things. If you're qualified to be those sacred entities, those sacred beings, you know, you're going to send supply for it. When you go into these places and everything, and when you think about the spiritual world, it you cannot be inside of a box. You cannot think it's just black and white, you know, it's just not, it's not zeros, ones and zeros and everything like that. There's, there's so many different things that are out there in the spiritual world when it comes to all these different beings. It's just like, we're all here and created on this world for a purpose. We're all here in this world. Each and one of us, each race and religion was made for a purpose and a religion. Now, wherever you come from, you know, different parts of the world, I'm sure in the very origin stories, they have which lands you were from, how you were supposed to take care of those lands and those people and everything, those sacred teachings that you have. And when it comes down to sacred deities, gods, are demigods and all these other different things and people say oh hercules and those guys weren't real or all oh, all these uh demigods and um mythological creatures aren't real or anything like that you know when the whole world sees dragons when the whole world sees giants when the whole world sees little people or even shapeshifters in that matter you know they have to be true at some point you know and then these these stories of these beings, you know, you once existed on this world was is, is pretty gnarly and crazy when you think about it. But at one point, I believe they're all hunted to extinction or, you know, they all made their journeys over into the spirit world or they're still here just in hiding, waiting for the human beings to be ready again, like how they once were long ago. So when it comes to like all these different things in, in our culture, we have our warriors you know, the the twin warriors, Nayat Nizana and Tobas Shchene. And, you know, they were they were really good, strong spiritual warriors that are said to be the sons of the sun god himself. And we have all these other deities, first man, first woman, spider woman, and so many, so many others that are out there. And that's just with our tribe too. So you, you say like you go to like Hercules or you go to Ares or you go to Zeus and all these other gods that are out there too. I'm pretty sure they have their gods that are over there that are running their jurisdictions. You know, you, then you go to Norse mythology, then you have Loki, you have, you know, Thor and all those other different things over there too. 
And then you go, oh, so many other people across the world, so many different nations have their warriors of old, their gods themselves. And, you know, it's it's so diverse and beautiful when it, when you really think about it. And just imagine, you know, that these things are not covered by borders, I guess you can say. When it comes to the spiritual world, you know, you're free to roam around, but you have to be careful of darkness and evil that's out there, you know, so we have stories of like family members who have passed on long ago who would come from the happy hunting grounds to come give blessings to their families in hard time or maybe they're having a good time they just want to stop by and give blessings and prayers to you so there's there's a lot of different things that are out there but you have to understand that as far as for those things those are just on the side of the human mentality and religion where they we come from now there's also beings that are beyond think about beings that aren't from here now i'm not saying aliens but i guess in the english term i guess you can categorize these beings as aliens but extraterrestrial beings are just beings that aren't from this world you know in our creation stories the Diné, like how i mentioned before we did not hear from originally from this world we came from another place and so when that world crumbled and was destroyed we had to come over here too as well so there's so many other planets, so many other galaxies and everything. And when it comes down to alien life or spiritual life, you know, you have to learn to coincide with all of these things that are around you. You know, just a perspective of your reality is just a dimension that you're living in to understand that there's multiple dimensions, multiple different realities that are out there coinciding with our lives that we have here now. You know, you think about ghosts, you think about spirits and everything. To me, they're real. To me, they're... I'm mindful of these things. And that's one thing about being an indigenous person is you're mindful of the spiritual world when you walk. Every day, wherever you go, you have to think about these things. You have to be mindful of every single being that's on this world because everything that's here was created for a purpose. And that's one thing is when you when you talk about, you know, all these different worlds that are around you, you have to be respectful of those things. You have to be mindful of those things. So when it comes down to you know, all these religions saying that, like, oh, Jesus is real. You know, all the Zeus is real. The twins are real. Like, yeah, it's a pretty big world we have out there, man. <laughs> we have our gods and deities and everything that help run and make the world move as it is. You know, we have stories about the sun spirits, the night spirits, the spirits that bring the darkness over across the sky. You know, you have thunder beings. You have earth beings, water beings, and all these other different beings that kind of make the world go, you know, mist beings, shadow beings, so many different beings that are out there. And I'll make a video about shadow beings too, because I have some pretty cool stories about that. But when it comes to the world and humanity and everything, how you came on this world is very unique as far as for you and your people. And also how you leave this world and go into the next one is how very unique to you as well like how i mentioned before is how our people go on to the the milky way we start our journey from there we relive our lives to be able to go to the happy hunting grounds go see our families again you know other different tribes other different races and religions have different stories of how they in a sense go on that journey and how they go and how they uh, live their lives to be able to go into the next world so it's just one of those things where you just got to be respectful of that. You know, it's, it's so many different people that are out there and it's just, you can't assume that all of us are the same. You can't assume that all of us have to follow or a specific religion or something like that, because it just might, just doesn't work for us, man. <laughs> you know, where we come from, literally how we're made, the prayers and the songs that were made for each individual person that's there has, I guess you can say a genetic code that's in there. To where you have passwords that can be opened and unlocked i guess you could say like you put it in the terms of a video game character okay this video game character is a wizard and this video character is an assassin the wizard can open the door for you but the assassin can only pick lock this door that's right here so you have to think about those different things it's just like where you come from and how you're made everybody's different and when it comes to spirituality and everything there's just so so much to it and i'm probably not even going to get it all in this episode it's it's pretty pretty gnarly to be able to just categorize and think about one thing but one thing i will say is 
there is a war between good and evil out there. So when you talk about these things, when you think about all these things that happen out there in the world, there is, in a sense, a war between good and evil. There is a war between heaven and hell. I guess you can say more in English terms, but you know, there's there's factions that are out there that are on the conquest for life. That are on the conquest to push their own agendas of what they're trying to do. You know, you have the the forces of good that are trying to accelerate humanity that are trying to give people the teachings and knowledge to accelerate humanity to, to be able to in a sense be reconnected with their origins and their purpose of what they're trying to be here on this world you know and there's also evil that's here that's trying to disrupt that the jealousy the darkness that's there that's trying to stop people from doing what they're supposed to do that's trying to ruin these things corrupt people to their cause and uh, the war between heaven and hell is real, you know, and I mentioned this before on my live stream and when it comes to like physical wars and battles, you know, you do have angels and demons, you do have guardian spirits and all these other beings that are out there too, that say like you're a soldier in Afghanistan or you're in Russia or you're going to Iran and everything to go fight, you know, you have your guardian spirits like how I said, when you go pass on, you can be a protector of your family. So those protectors will follow those soldiers into battle and those other soldiers will have their guardians too as well and that's where the battles will be to protect the souls but then there's also the factions out there besides good and evil that's trying to take make their claim onto the world as well to try to claim this world and for their own and their own purposes and all that out there so like i said that's where you kind of go more into the phantom realm and all those other different beings that are out there in the cosmos that want the chance to live, that want the chance to claim ownership of a world like ours. You know, one that's not constantly super or cursed by storms or anything like that. You think about these different things and when it comes to the spiritual world, you know, you have to know your enemy. You have to know the good spirits that are out there too. What are their origin stories? Where do they come from? What kind of food and offerings do they like? What do they eat? You know, do they like tobacco? Do they like, you know, apples and tangerine? Are they allergic to apples and tangerine? You know, and that's one thing is when I was a paranormal investigator, you know, we would even back before then when we would do ceremonies and all that, we would leave the reservations. And when we would do like our ceremonies and everything, we would communicate with these spirits to get to know them. Because sometimes, you know, when you when you were going to help these spirits go on into the next world, sometimes they were not of our religion or where we come from. So the spirits that normally we would call upon for our uh, Diné spirits or our Navajo spirits onto the next start their journey, you know, they you would be taking them somewhere where they're not they're not really used to or where they're supposed to be. So that's where, you know, you got to learn the names of these other different religions of these races to be able to help those spirits go along into their journey. So when it comes to like just spiritual knowledge and everything, this isn't just Navajo or just indigenous teachings. This is spiritual knowledge and just learning to recognize, to be respectful of everything and be a sponge, you know. And really learn to think outside of the box because when it comes to these spiritual beings who have been here for thousands and thousands of years since the creation of this world and even before then, you think about these things that they've been here and seen everything. And so when it comes to our minds and our thought processes, we're only here for a blink of an eye, a single human being compared to them. So you know when it comes to their mindsets and everything how they think you know they were the ones that created the human mind and the human body like just imagine how elaborate it is just the function of a human hand the function of a brain and everything how developed it is to be able to create all these different things to create these teachings and all these videos that are out here it's mind-boggling how far we've come you know, we have stories of animals that used to talk a long time ago, but they had their voices taken away, except for one being, which is the parrot. And we have all these different stories and mythologies and everything like that. And it's honestly just really 
interesting to me, but whenever I used to ha sit down and have smokes with my brother and we would just talk about these things, smoking tobacco, we don't smoke that green stuff. Uh, we would just sit there and pray and talk about these things and just, you know, it would really make me think like, damn, why the f am I trying to pay rent? <laughs> You know, when you when you talk about just like the existence and just living in the time of what you're supposed to do and what's the meaning of life? Why are you here? You know, when it comes down to the end and you pass away, you go on into that next world. OK, cool. You did all this stuff in your life. What's it for? Kind of thing. You, you, you got to really think about that is, you know, did you live your life? Well, did you, you know, achieve your goals that you wanted to? And in my mind, for me, this is a video game. <laughs> you know, life is one big video game that you're trying to live to get the high score, you know, to try to do your best as much as you can and just get ready to get everything ready. It's like a Minecraft server. I'm building out a whole entire world and everything. So when my kid, future kids and great grandkids and everything come up, you know, I could pass all, all my cool armor and weapons or you know my cheat codes and everything to life to where when i pass it on to them they can excel even further they can start off where i left off and continue on even further then they can pass that down to their future generations so that's why i made i made that post a while ago on my instagram it's like i'm not living life for myself i'm living life for my future generations and that's something that is honestly really cool and when it comes to the spiritual world, I'm never going to stop learning. I'm not an expert in any of this stuff. This is just the past, you know, my 26 years on this earth of things I've experienced. And I'm honestly just scratching the surface with you guys when it comes to the stuff that I know. And if you guys want to know more about the spiritual world and everything and just more questions that you have, be able to leave your comments down below because yeah i'm definitely going to be going more into this. this is only going to be part one of the spirit world series i guess you can say but i'll be diving more specifically into some beings that i've encountered in my life uh, you guys have already heard of skinwalkers and everything i believe i have like a couple more stories of that but i also have stories of like i said the anasaza i have stories of bigfoot little people you know we've actually ran into a thunderbird one time so there's just so many other different beings out there and that's just with an art our tribe our stories and everything and with my last video that i made i i requested uh, some people from where the window go come from so maybe in the future i'll be able to make a video about that but thank you guys so much for watching and the merch will be coming very soon i'm getting very close to finishing up all my designs that i want to do you know, there's going to be artwork you can buy. There's going to be shirts, backpacks, beanies, like how you guys requested hoodies, all these different cool things, even phone cases, too, if you want that. But, yeah, that's going to be getting worked on and everything. So but I can't thank you guys some enough for, you know, watching my stuff and uh, supporting me, too. It's pretty crazy. We're getting close to 40,000 subscribers. And so just thank you so much for supporting me when it comes down to it. You know, this is going to be helping me to be able to travel. This is going to be helping me to go out to those other nations and get those stories and just, you know, live life as best as we can to so we can spread the knowledge of these teachings before they go extinct. Because I know, especially from our tribe, too, there's a lot of medicinal people that in our, our tribe that are passing away that they don't have any followers or they don't have any no, it's not saying like Instagram followers, but like somebody to take up the ceremonies, take up the songs that they have. And especially like with COVID and everything that happened, there was a lot of medicinal people that passed on that took their ceremonies with them. So I believe it's we're in a time to where, you know, learning those stories and sharing those teachings is something that's very, very beautiful. And when it comes to the spirituality and everything like that, like I said, I'm just scratching the surface. So, you know, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for all the support that you guys have. If you guys haven't yet go follow me on official ssp our official sean clinton ssp on instagram i have a facebook and tiktok too as well and i shall see you guys on the next video thank you so much for watching have a good evening morning night wherever you are we're going it Oh, we're recording. Should I go with a different color today? Good. <laughs>
can get jiggy with this. A good recording, everybody. A hoop. They said celebratory monster every time. To another episode of Sean Clinton Shadow Productions. Now. <clears throat>